Okay, this is going to be the markup of how to set up for a cross wrap. Start with your masking tape, turn it inside out so that you get a sticky side on the outside. If you want an 8 inch wrap, go out about 9 inches. Um, they look best 6 to 8 inches long. Anything more than that, it's hard to keep them straight. Do the same thing at this end. Put a double sided collar, sticky side out. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take a magic marker just to make this easy to see. But we're going to start on the top section here. I'll put a mark here on the top. Now we have to have an 180 degree mark from this, so the easiest way to get that is going to take a piece of masking tape, put it on the blank. Put a mark where the mark is, rotate it around 180 degrees, or 360 degrees, put a mark at the 180 degree, pull it back, sticky side out, line up your two marks, make a crease where the crease is, put a mark, line that mark up with your other mark, rotate it around that gives you a 180. Okay. Quickest way I've found to make this work out is to use the cross wrap alignment tool made by CRB Mud Hole. And um, it's a it's a block of wood or plastic with a V in it and then it has a ruler that lays down on top of it so it'll self-center itself and it'll be a straight line from point A to point B. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rod out of here. I'm going to line it up. These just slide up. And I'm going to line this up here and have my zero mark right there and make it so the tape is right at the edge of this. Right there. And then i got to put a mark down here on this end. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that mark down. Now on the top, you can take whatever measurements you want to use. Um, I like something that's easily divisible in half. Uh, inch and a half seems to work really well because half an inch and a half is three quarters. So on the ruler here, you'll actually see I've got some black marks on here. That's every inch and a half because that's my normal setup. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dot here. Normally I'd use a little pencil or something that's very unnoticeable, white, white pencil. And I'm going to put a dot every inch and a half. Okay, that gets us that side. Now I'm going to rotate this around 180 degrees. And I'm going to start at the beginning here. I got to transfer my mark down to this end. Now here's the, the thing on the 180 degree side, I only want to come out three quarters, which is right here. So I'm going to put a dot here at three quarters. To make this easy, I'm going to slide that dot out to the end of my ruler. And now go back. And I'll put a mark every inch and a half. And what that's doing is it's putting them now in between each other. So when my thread spirals on, it'll start here, it'll spiral around, catch this one, that one, and so on. Show you what it looks like when we start a thread. I'm going to use a black thread here to start out just to make it easy to see. Lock this in. This is the top. This is my first one is out an inch and a half. So I pulled out enough thread to go up and back down. What I'm going to do is this is my starting thread. It's going to give me my X in the middle. Everything works off of this. We'll put a bunch of little pieces of tape down here. That's what I'm going to use to hold my wrap together. I'm going to take my start thread here and I'm going to start it right here at this mark right there. Right at, right at that point of the tape, that's zero. Rotate it around. I'm going to catch this mark, that one, that one, all the way up 
so I get to the top. You might have to reach for some of these because remember it's a tapered blank, so it's not perfectly round all the way up the same. I'm gonna go up to the top, it's just gonna turn around, I'm gonna come back down, I'm gonna line myself up, and I'm gonna cross right there, and that'll get me in line coming back down. I did change hands coming back down. Makes it a little easier for me to manipulate. Get this all on. There's that, and I end up right there. Go around once or twice and just kind of tape that down. I kind of keep back a little bit with my tape so I can still see my center marks because it's important to go back and check everything to make sure it's straight. So I'll go back between these two lines here, put that on. You can see my marks are dead on there. I'm going to go to 180 degrees from there and check it. My marks are pretty well on. Okay, that's all we start. Then uh, you want to make these easy. Um, you can use a braided thread. Quick way to make a cross wrap. Take a braid. And I'm going to work on the top of the X going up. Just going to put this on there. And I'll follow that thread all the way up to the top. The nice thing about braid is it's a wide thread. It takes up a lot of space really fast. Spiral this up to the top. Get it done. Turn it around. Come back down on the top. Coming back down on the top. Just following it. Again, I changed hands. Coming back down. that one down here, rotate it a little bit, put a piece of tape on it, cut that clean. You can get another color. I'm going to start on the bottom of the cross this time. I'm going to go up on the bottom. Again, this is a braid thread, pretty wide, builds pretty quick. Top, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to come back down on the bottom. What that's done is it's made a, a split diamond. You can work all your corners together and get everything pushed up tight. Work all four corners of everything. Get everything all nice and tight. Follow the edges. Make sure all their gappage is out. You can also take your string and go back across this now and check it make sure everything's still straight but at this point you could actually call this complete and I kind of suggest kind of framing it out in something so I like to use a contrasting color so I'm just going to grab a bright color here just so that you can see what it is but I'll wrap this on all four sides of what we just did I'm going to start on the top, going up, turn around and come back down on the top, and then I'm going to rotate it around, I'm going to come up and I'm going to run back up the bottom this time.
and to the top. And then we'll come around on the bottom, come back down on the bottom. Around, tape it off. And you can see I've got diamond with the two different colors here, the green and the, and the uh, purplish color here together. Go along, make sure everything's nice and snug and tight and there's no gaps. Then you'll take and you'll coat this whole thing with Thread Preserver, which is a product. Uh, you can put that on there and that will seal this to the blank. And then you can cut off all this excess stuff. Just trim it a little bit of an angle. And if you trim it down at an angle, then you get done, you put start your collar and walk up on top of it and make your trim bands on either side of it and you'll have a nice little pattern like that.